So Qualcomm might be bringing us another powerful chip soon, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. And this one could be a real game changer for phones in 2025. You probably already know about the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, right? It's the crazy fast one powering phones like the OnePlus 15, Realme GT 8 Pro, and iQ 15. Those are some serious flagships. But now, Qualcomm is working on a new version, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, and it's supposed to bring flagship-level performance, but at a slightly cheaper price. Basically, it's like getting the same sports car engine, just tuned a little differently, so more people can afford it. Leaks say the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 will use Qualcomm's Orion CPU, the same type found in their Elite chip, and it'll be made on TSMC's 3 nanometer process, which means better power efficiency and cooler temperatures. It'll have two high-performance cores running at 3.8 gigahertz and six more cores at 3.32 gigahertz, plus an Adreno 840 GPU. Basically, this thing should fly through any app or game you throw at it. Now, the Elite version goes a bit higher in speed, but the Gen 5 still promises flagship-level performance without that premium flagship price. According to leaks, it could score above 3.3 million on Antutu, which is insane for a chip that isn't even the top tier model. Now, for gamers out there, this part matters. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is said to have the same GPU architecture as the Elite version. The only catch is it'll have fewer processing units. So yeah, Technically, it's a bit weaker, but Qualcomm's keeping the clock speed the same at 1.2 GHz, which means graphics performance should still be awesome. In short, you're getting almost all the power, just a little trimmed down to keep the cost low. Now, here's where things get interesting. Several phones are already rumored to use this new chip, and honestly, they sound amazing. First up, OnePlus Ace 6 Pro Max. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but listen to the specs. A 6.7 inch flat OLED display at 1.5K resolution, a super smooth 165 Hertz refresh rate, a massive 8,000 milliamp hour battery, 100 watt fast charging, a 50 megapixel main camera with OIS, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and a 32 megapixel selfie camera. That's a killer combo big battery, fast charging, powerful chip, and a high refresh rate display. Now, if you're wondering, the A series usually comes to global markets as the OnePlus R lineup. So this phone could show up as the OnePlus 15R outside China. If that happens, we're looking at a very powerful yet affordable phone that gives flagship vibes for a lot less money. Next up, Vivo S500 Pro Mini or should I say Vivo X300 FE for global markets. Here's what's interesting. Vivo usually goes with MediaTek chips like the Dimensity 9400 Plus, but now it looks like they're switching to Snapdragon for this one. That's a pretty big move. It means Vivo wants to compete directly with brands like OnePlus and Oppo using Qualcomm power. The phone will be compact, around a 6.31 inch 1.5K flat display, and rumor says it'll come with a bigger battery than its previous model, maybe even more than 6,000 milliamp hours. For people who want a small but powerful phone, this one could be the sweet spot. And then there's Oppo K15 Turbo Pro. This one's expected to be a gaming-focused phone, the next version after the K13 Turbo Pro, which even had a cooling fan built inside it. Leaks say the new K15 Turbo Pro will have a 6.78-inch LTPS display, also 1.5K resolution, and a bigger battery. And yes, it's supposed to use the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 chip too. So we're talking gaming power, high refresh rate, and probably aggressive pricing. Here's the exciting part. Qualcomm is clearly trying to make flagship power more affordable. The Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 is for those top-end, super expensive phones, but the regular 8 Gen 5 is targeting phones that are still fast, still premium, just not $1,000 and above. Think of it as bringing flagship performance to phones that cost much less. That's great news for everyone, especially if you don't want to spend a fortune, but still want the best performance, gaming experience, and battery life. 
Right now, Qualcomm hasn't officially announced the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, but leaks and early details make it sound really solid. It keeps the same architecture, high performance, and efficient design, just slightly tuned down for better pricing. And the phones coming with it, OnePlus, Vivo, Oppo, all sound like they're going to compete hard in that upper mid-range to premium segment. If all these rumors are true, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 could be the chip that powers some of 2025's best value phones, the ones that give you almost flagship power without that flagship price. So, if you're thinking about upgrading soon, maybe wait a little. These Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 phones could be worth the wait.